In our lead story this afternoon, suspended National Police Commissioner Ria Biecha has applied to the High Court in Pretoria to review her suspension. Biecha says President Zuma suspended her on the basis of an inaccurate report. She argues that the Marikana report is riddled with serious contradictions. Reports say her attorneys have closely studied the report. The embattled police chief says the report contains similarities of not less than 113 instances copied from evidence leaders' heads of arguments. This, she says, could have been not been accidental but a deliberate cut and paste exercise. Beja says the commissioners had not applied their minds in preparing the report and in making the findings. She concludes that a failure to apply an independent mind in decision making is susceptible to review. Joining us on the phone line to further unpack this story is constitutional law expert Professor Shadrick Guto. A very good afternoon to you. Thank you so much for your time. Does it come as a surprise for Beja? to apply to the High Court to review her suspension? I don't, that, I don't think that it comes out as a surprise. Um, she has always resisted and indicated that she did nothing wrong, but uh, she has a right under the Constitution really to have the matter reviewed if, if it is on a matter that can be reviewed by the application of... Uh, uh, the law, and I think that is a right that she does have, and uh, whether or not uh, the court will lift the suspension is another matter altogether. So there are two issues there. One of the review, she has a right to um, be able to take the matter to court for review to the high court on whether or not the court will rule that her suspension be lifted, uh, that we leave to the court. We can't prejudge that. But for her indicating that the report is full of contradictions, we shall, those will, will be ventilated in the court uh, through um, proper examination and, and also, you know, the, the state will defend it. And I think it is important to indicate that even though Judge Fallon was the chair of that commission, it is an administrative commission. It is not a judicial commission that was set up. So from that point of view, um, it is a matter that can be reviewed. Now, she comes back hitting uh, back at the president and saying that Zuma suspended her on the basis of an inaccurate report. How true is this? Um, I think she will be uh, all right. Uh, thank you very much. We're joined on the phone line by constitutional law expert Professor Shadrick Guto. We do know that uh, Ria Biecha has applied to the High Court in Pretoria to have a review of her suspension. The basis of the application has to do with the findings that were made by the Fulham Commission. The Commission said the President must institute a disciplinary hearing or call for a board of inquiry in respect of the National Commissioner. And the basis for that inquiry was that she, in person, misled the Fulham Commission in respect of two issues. One, it had to do with whether the meeting of the 15th of August of the Extraordinary Management, National Management Forum, did happen. The second issue was whether there was a decision to implement a tactical plan in that meeting. The issue of the existence of the meeting was never hidden from the Fulham Commission. We, we regarded this process as a separate process, which, of course, legally, its consequences is that the classing let me confirm that uh, the legal team presenting Commissioner Piecha did inform as a courtesy the Tlassen Board of Inquiry about the, the legal process that they are following. However, at this juncture or at the present state, the application that they are undertaking is not having any impact on the uh, inquiry of the Tlassen Board of Inquiry because we are not cited as a party. Uh, I can indicate that uh, at the present moment we are still on course 
As per the original plan, a report is expected during the month of August.